I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my creative healing course is filled with hours of exclusive content. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're going to be discussing topics that happy couples talk about. You know, when you're in a relationship, it's really important that you and your partner have great things to communicate. Right. And, you know, it's so important that people are positive. Yes, Margaret. absolutely. Negativity just kills a relationship and attraction. And so, if you have good things to discuss, it makes the relationship easier. Absolutely, and more fun. Yeah. So today, Margaret's got some research on some of those topics, and I think you guys are going to find this helpful. Okay. This is from Your Tango, and I, as I've explained before, Your, Your Tango is one of those websites that, you know, collects articles on, on life and love. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the author of this article is Denise, and it's capital N-G-O, and I apologize to Denise, I have no idea how to pronounce it. Okay. My apologies, Denise. Okay. A study in psychological science, doesn't that sound serious, points out that couples are happier when they spend more time discussing meaningful topics than engaging in small talk. Okay. That means that you are not just info dumping the events of your day yeah. and then vegging out on the couch. Mm -hmm. Okay? It means you actually dive into a good converse into good conversation topics with your partner about the things that matter in your life and theirs. Mm -hmm. Okay? Seventy nine college students had their conversations recorded and analyzed by researchers who distinguished between chit-chat about food or the weather mm -hmm. from discussions about philosophy, education, or religion. That sounds pretty highbrow, huh? All right. Yeah. The subjects who reported the greatest amount of satisfaction spent only 10% of their conversation on small talk, and the unhappiest couples spent 28.3% of their talking time on the shallow end. Okay. Okay. So, here are 10 great conversation topics happy couples talk about regularly. All right. And I like when they give us concrete examples. Okay. Embarrassing moments. If you can't share the awkward moments that occurred throughout high school with your partner, who can you share them with? Yeah. Sharing the stories can make you a tiny bit vulnerable, which is always lovable. Okay? Mm-hmm. Um, I've shared plenty of mine. On yes, the, you have. the channel. Yes, you <laughs> have. Second topic, political viewpoints. Mm -hmm. How very timely, okay? How do you really feel about the next election? Or, what new, or that new law that just passed? You don't have to agree with each other. A good relationship allows both parties to discuss their own philosophies mm -hmm. without taking the, the opposing viewpoints personally, okay? Mm -hmm. Fears and insecurities, and this is very important, okay? Um, what worries you? What do you want to improve about yourself? What are your past skeletons? I don't know what they mean by skeletons. That can mean any number of things. And maybe things you're embarrassed about, yeah, things, that, about yeah. uh, things that, mistakes that you've made. Skeletons suggest that you lock it in the closet, yeah. Okay, and being vulnerable, you risk judgment, but more importantly, you chance really being understood. Yeah, because we all have things in oh, our yeah. life that we're not proud of or maybe embarrassed of or whatever. Dumb things that we did. Yeah. Dumb decisions we made. And so, you know, you're more human when you can talk about it with right. that other person. Right. You don't want to feel like you're perfect and they're not. And it's hard to put that stuff out there, but no one will ever fully understand you if you don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Okay, being vulnerable is never easy and always worthwhile, all right? 
your childhoods. Now there's a big one. Overall, I'm very impressed with the folks I talk to who know their partner's childhoods pretty well. You know? mm -hmm. um, ask each other, what, what were you like as a kid? What kind of games did you like? Was school good or problematic for you? Childhood memories make for fun conversations. They also lend insight into how you both came, how you both became the persons you are today. Okay, so very important to talk about that. Yeah. Past relationships. This can be a little touchy, but it's very important. Why past relationships ended is extremely important and can help the couple avoid old problems repeating. Okay? But it can be very difficult to talk about old relationships, particularly if you're anxious. You know? Yeah. Um, I think we already covered that. Family ties. Knowing a person's upbringing and relationship with his or her parents and siblings is paramount to understanding current attitudes toward their family. Absolutely. And nothing could be more important than that. <laughs> If you are even slightly contemplating the future with this person, it helps to ask as many questions as you need to about family and your partner's relationship with them. And I'm going to say continue asking questions until you feel you fully understand. Yep. Okay? And always be curious about that. Always, always, yes. And there's another instance where it's good to be curious. And I say to people, why didn't you ask? Well, I didn't want to pry. Well, if you have any serious thoughts about this person, you have to. And probably they'll take it better than you think. All right? Yeah, be curious is a great piece of advice. Um, current events. In the age of information overload, it's nearly impossible to stay up to date on everything going on around us. Perhaps you have different interests and one partner can keep abreast of international affairs and the other one the local issues. Teamwork and exchanging information is important. TV and movies. Compared to politics and personal fears, entertainment might seem pretty shallow. But the psychological science study researcher, Dr. Meehl, M-E-H-L, actually classified discussions about movies in the deep category, given that people focused on character, motivation, and plots, rather than the hot Hollywood leading actors. Okay? Mm -hmm. The future. It is important that a couple openly talk about their plans and dreams. Absolutely. Absolutely. This can come up in conversation, or you can ask directly. And it gives you something to look forward to. Absolutely. Even if it's like a vacation. Yeah, or... sure. Oh, I think it's very important to have something to look mm -hmm. forward to. Does he want to be an astronaut, astronaut and you want to be a deep sea diver? I mean, it's, it's important that you exchange whatever dreams you have. Some of them will be fantasy, some of them will be real. Okay. So, to further your relationship and happiness, keep talking. All right? Those are a list of 10 good ones. Yep. And and just kind of really think about it because you want to be just kind of apt to do those things or bring up those things. Right. Yeah. And be curious yeah. about those things. And it will be helpful to connecting with other people. Either your ex, Absolutely. or dating new people, and some people say, you know, we get you give us advice, and we and we want to do it, but we don't know what to do. So here's at least a list of some suggestions. I like them. I, I, I like it too. The family and the childhood are the big ones. The others are important also, but the family and the childhood are huge. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Good stuff. Give Margaret All a right. thumbs up for that one and the research she did. And of course, if you want to get our help personally, just go to my website, askcraig.net. Sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Margaret, of course, is available for Skype coaching. If you feel that I can be helpful to you, please sign up. Just click on Margaret on the top of the website to do that. And that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And we will talk with you soon.